She has been at the heart of the Toei drama since entering the show last year, with her sassy demeanor and stunning good looks winning hearts all over And Amber Turner was again bringing the sass as she collaborated with online retailer Miss Pap for a new pool party edit, in which she stripped down to a number of soft sea ensembles which made the most of her incredible figure Speaking exclusively to Mail and Line, the 24-year-old discussed the boob job she underwent last year when she boosted her cleavage from a B-cup to an eye-popping D-cup as she branded the surgery the best decision of her life Amber looked phenomenal in the various swimwear ensembles, with the standout numbers being cut-out ensembles which drew the eye to her underboob Her phenomenal abs were on full display as she wowed in the stunning shoot while she lengthened her legs with a staggering pair of nude wedges The stunner wore her blonde tresses in loose coiffed waves falling over her shoulders while pulling her best pout for the camera in smoldering new shots Plain to see in the stunning shoot was Amber's eye-popping cleavage the result of her boob job, which she delightedly gushed over in the chat She said, last year I had my boob job and I went from a B to a D, and it was the best decision I've ever made in my life I think if there's something you want to change, you shouldn't feel bad about having surgery It's made me so much more confident, and it's made me so much happier Amber also discussed how she struggles with body image since being in the spotlight As she said, of course the public eye makes you feel under scrutiny One bad picture can make you look twice the size you are, and you do worry about it It's not the end of the world, though you know what you look like, and so do your friends and family Speaking about her figure, she said, I do work hard on my body. I go to the gym as much as I can I'm a big believer of treat yourself, but I do have the off cheat day So long as you put the hours in on trolls and abuse in the public I, she said, I used to get lots of abuse online and people were judging every aspect of your body, your face, your hair and when I first came on Toei it was a bit like wow No one's ever picked out every flaw and trolled me before Now, if people message me abuse I just think I don't know who you are and you're not bothering me anymore You have to learn to not read the nasty ones and just the nice ones. After confessing that she works hard on her stunning figure, she then hit out at the recent celebrity workout DVD scandal, which saw a host of stars criticized for their fitness plans, which were allegedly the result of pills and starvation. Celebrities including Scarlett Moffat, Lauren Gujar, Vicky Patterson and Charlotte Crosby were accused of tricking their way to better bodies to sell their lucrative DVDs, and while Amber wasn't pointing fingers she still hit out at the news She said, I think it's disgusting, I don't feel in this day and age it's fair for celebrities to lie and have plastic surgery and then say the workout DVD is going to give this body when it's not Especially with girls and their body confidence I think it's not realistic to put that image in people's minds I don't agree with it. Dot unless it stands from genuine exercise, 9 times out of 10 you're not going to get from a size 18 to a size 8 by doing a 5 minute video a day Not being nasty, and I'm not being pinpointing one celebrity in particular, but I know how it is working hard in the gym for years Speaking of her Miss Pap collection, she said, the edit was amazing. All the people at Miss Pap were amazing. 
I wanted it to be accessible with something people feel comfortable in. My favorite is the white kimono, it goes with everything. Amber touched on her recent on screen drama, which has seen her at loggerheads with former flame Dan Edgar and his new love interest Clelia Theodorou. After co star John Clark accused the former couple of sleeping together, the blonde beauty has now lashed out at the claims and the entire scenario. She said, The drama is kind of over now, John is being his typical himself by getting himself involved in everyone's drama because he clearly doesn't have that much of an interesting life himself, clearly. It's a bit like, I know what's happened, Dan knows what happened. I know nothing's happened. Me and Clelia are civil, we had a conversation off camera. It's all in the past, and if she believes me or not, I don't care. There's no reason for us to be at loggerheads. She made comments I wasn't happy about when she didn't need to make them, and I get she was just hurting. I'm single. Happily single at the moment. I don't need any more boy drama in my life at the moment, 